So a while ago, I made a video on Alpine's concept hydrogen-powered hypercar. Well, since then, this concept has changed into a real functional car, a testbed and rolling laboratory, pushing the boundaries of hydrogen combustion technology. Now the Alpine Glow H4 takes its inspiration from its 2022 namesake, the Alpine Glow concept car. This initial concept showcased Alpine's design language for the future, with a focus on striking aesthetics and a focus on lightweight, cutting-edge materials like carbon fiber. However, the H4 goes a significant step further by transforming this concept into a tangible reality. The Alpine Glow H4 is set to make its grand debut at the Spa 6 Hours Endurance Race in Belgium. Here it won't be competing for the checkered flag, but rather showcasing its capabilities through a series of demonstration runs. This is just the first step, with more public appearances planned for the iconic 24 Hours of Le Mans in June. These demonstrations serve a crucial purpose, to gather valuable data and showcase the potential of hydrogen combustion technology for the future of motorsports. But despite its aggressive supercar looks, the H4's current power plant might seem a bit modest at first glance. A 2-litre turbocharged inline 4 engine adapted from an existing Renault Alpine design, generating a respectable 335 horsepower. However, the true significance lies with what fuels this engine, hydrogen. The H4 utilizes a sophisticated hydrogen combustion system. High-pressure hydrogen gas stored in three tanks at 700 bar is injected directly into the engine's combustion chamber, replacing traditional gasoline. Water is also injected to help manage nitrogen oxide emissions, which is a key concern with hydrogen combustion engines. The engine itself revs to a thrilling 7000 RPM, and Alpine claims that the engine in the H4 delivers performance comparable to a gasoline-powered engine of the same size. In other words, no loss in power. You still have the sound and character of a combustion engine, and no polar bears will fall over when you start it up. It's a win-win-win. P.S. This tiny little four-cylinder can go up to a top speed of 168 miles per hour, which is pretty damn impressive. Anyways, while the current four-cylinder setup provides a solid foundation, Alpine isn't stopping there. The H4 is just the first iteration. A significant upgrade is planned for later in this year. The second prototype will ditch the inline-4 engine in favor of a brand new hydrogen-specific V6 engine. This shift signifies Alpine's commitment to pushing the boundaries of hydrogen combustion technology and exploring its full potential for high-performance applications. And I personally can't wait to see this thing raw in real life. But with all of this, one might wonder why Alpine is focusing on hydrogen combustion rather than hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles, typically associated with hydrogen technology. Their reasoning is multifaceted. Firstly, Alpine argues that hydrogen combustion offers advantages in terms of specific power, compared to fuel cell EVs. This translates to a lighter powertrain, a crucial factor for performance-oriented vehicles. Secondly, hydrogen combustion engines require a less complex cooling system compared to fuel cell EVs, further contributing to weight reduction. And finally, Alpine highlights the similarity in sound and feel between hydrogen combustion and traditional gasoline engines, potentially offering a more familiar and engaging experience for drivers and fans of the sport. I mean, put yourself next to the racetrack. A massive part of the excitement is the sound of these race cars flying by. You can feel the engines vibrating your insides. It feels impressive and exotic. Where EVs are fast, but you lose a lot of the experience. Now, Alpine isn't shy about its ambitions for hydrogen combustion technology. While they haven't explicitly stated plans to enter the Alpine Glow H4 into official races that are closely monitoring the evolution of racing regulations. The legalization of hydrogen cars at Le Mans from 2027 and the potential switch to hydrogen fuel in Formula 1 by 2031 are clear indicators of the direction motorsports might be headed. Furthermore, Alpine hints at the possibility of hydrogen technology filtering down to their road-going sports cars, potentially aligning with previous statements by Renault Group CEO Luca De Mio regarding Alpine's hypercar development. To end it off, the Alpine Alpine Glow H4 is more than just a hydrogen-powered hypercar. It's a bold statement of intent. It represents Alpine's commitment to forging a path towards a sustainable future by showcasing the viability and potential of hydrogen combustion technology 
the Alpen Glow H4 serves as a beacon of innovation, inspiring the industry to explore new avenues for sustainable performance. As racing regulations evolve and, and technology continues to develop, we can sit and be excited to see where this will all be heading. But let me know what you guys think down below. How do you guys feel about this tech? And at the end of the video, if you guys like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you did like it, you'll most probably like most of my other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if it's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I. Thank you.